Because his uh, mic is off. Good afternoon, Lewin basketball fans. We are live here at the pit. This is Jay Bird Devon. We've got the Lady Gators coming up. Last year's uh, AAA state champions to take on the Otago Lady Generals of Prattville, Alabama today. In previous games played earlier, the JV girls won 30 to 14, moving their record to four wins and no losses. And the JV boys won 52 to 20 to go seven and zero. The Lady Gators come into today's game with a record of six wins and zero losses, and the Lady Generals have a record of one win and three losses. Your probable starting lineups of the Lady Gators today at point guard senior Jasmine Burtz, at guard senior Caitlin the Cat Blackshear, also at guard sophomore Olivia Slocum, at forward sophomore Anna Grace Griggs, and at center sophomore TK. Davis. So sit back in the vision of scene as we're facing the court. The Lady Gators benches to my right, the General's benches to my left. 
The Lady Gators are dressed out in their home white uniforms with orange trim and gray shoes, and the Lady Generals are decked out in gray uniforms with gold trim and black shoes. There's a prominent G at center court here at the pit on the wonderful hardwood, freshly sanded and waxed floor. And we'll be we'll right be back after the prayer to the national anthem. Fellowship through basketball with our friends from the title. Please protect the players this evening and also the coaches and the officials. And Lord, let us keep in our prayers the loss of life and the devastation last night and early this morning in Kentucky through the severe storms. Be with those families and communities as they grieve and pick up the pieces and move forward, Lord, but also understanding that you are ultimately in control of everything, Lord. Be with us as we leave this evening. Protect us as we arrive at our final destination. It's in your name we pray. Amen. 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 about ready to go here. There's your starting lineup. Burtz, Blackshear, Slocum, Griggs, and Davis for the Lady Gators. Also broadcasting live if you want to watch it on uh, the internet today. Live streaming www.youtube.com slash beam7 b-e-a-m-7 Boys game will also be live streamed by beam today following the girls game. All right, so Lady Gators heads to the basket to my left. If you're watching it on a live stream, they'll be going to your right. Ball tipped over to Slocum. She's got it, gets it to Burtz down inside, lays it up and in. Got it to Emma Head off the tip, who got it to Slocum, who dropped it down to Burtz for the easy layup. Two to nothing, Lady Gators start the game. Here are the generals with the ball over to the left side. And Slocum just stole the ball. They tried to come back to the point guard. And to get it to Burst, she's got a wide open layup down the left side off the left block, made it, and it's four to nothing. Quick start by the Lady Gators today. The generals with the ball. Try to go inside with it. Davis knocked it down. Gets it up ahead to Anna Grace Griggs. She's driving down off that left side. Off the left block, laid it up and in for a layup, and it's six to zero. Ball passed over to number 12 up high. 
Try to go back to the point guard. Slocum stole it again, knocked it away. She's going to track it down over here on the left side. Got it back to Emma Head's going to drive into the lane. Back to Slocum for a long two out there off the left wing. It's no good. Davis got the rebound, put it up, no good. She's fouled. She's going to go to the line and shoot two. T.K. Davis, the first free throw short off the front of the rim, no good. <laughs> Second free throw, rattles around, goes in. Seven to zero, first quarter, Gators with the lead. It's a target with the ball up high, pass it over to the left wing. Try to go back to the point guard. Slocum jumped in front of the passing lane, knocked it away, got it down to Anna Grace Griggs off the right block. She lays it up and in. And it's nine to zero. Fast start by the Lady Gators here. Lady Gators in a two three zone. Slocum picking the ball up high up at the point. A reverse dribble by the Otago player. She tries to go to the right wing, got knocked out of bounds by Burks. Pass inside to number one there. I couldn't see her number for a ponytail hanging off the back of her jersey. They got it back to number 15. Gonna shoot a long one out there and made it off the glass. 4-3, it's 9-3. Shot it off the square on the backboard from the top of the key and made it. 9-3. Ball passed over to Slocum on the left side. She's gonna float a floater over there off that left side. No good. Burks got the rebound, put it up, no good. Davis gonna get the rebound. And she's fouled on the put back. She's gonna go to the line and shoot two. First free throw is good. Second free throw is no good off the rim, but Burst got the rebound on the left side. She's gonna pull up, shoot a long three out there. It looks good from here. It's nothing but string music in Phoenix City, Alabama. 13 to three with 5.34 to go here in the first quarter. Here's the Targa, number one, playing point guard, dribbling the ball up high. A little tentative, gets it off to 15. She's gonna try to go right with it, crossover dribble. Burst has stole the ball from her. She's gonna try taking it for a layup off the right block. And makes it, and that'll make it 15 to three. And the point guard picks her dribble up, tries to throw it over to number four on the far right wing. Ball went through her hands, out of bounds will be Lady Gators ball. Emma Head will inbound the ball on the sideline to Jazz Burtz. Jazz with the ball over to Emma Head on the right wing. Down to Slocum in the corner, goes inside to Davis off the right block, puts up a shot down there, banks it off the backboard, is good. 17 to three. First quarter, 4.30 to go. Here's the point guard number one for Otaga. Goes down inside the short corner, gonna shoot it down there, no good. Follow the rebound, tried to get it, and Grace Griggs came up with it, handed off to Burst in the backcourt. Burst long pass up ahead to Davis, ball got tipped, and goes out of bounds off of Emma Head down on the baseline. Turnover by the Gators. Targa bringing the ball across half court now. Over to the right elbow, goes back out to the top of the key to number one. Gets it back to 15 on the right wing, coated up by Burst, driving on the baseline, and a little push off, gonna put up a shot down there. It's off the rim, no good, and Anna Grace Griggs got the backside rebound over on the left block. Gets it over to Burks, goes inside to Davis off the left block, gonna put it in off the glass. Good pivot mood, made it. 
And your score here is a timeout on the floor. And it's a full timeout by a target. It's 19 to three. Lady Gators with the lead. And here are the Glenwood cheerleaders. All right, we're back. 3.43 to go here in the first quarter. 19 to three, Lady Gators with lead. No fouls on Glenwood, two on the Otago Lady Generals. Ball passed over to the right wing by the Generals and it lost it out of bounds, but it's the last touch by Emma Head of the Gators. Possession will remain with the Lady Gators, excuse me, Generals. Long pass over to the sideline, gonna go out of bounds across the court for me near the scores table. Turnover by the Generals and the Gators get the ball right back. Jazz bursts with the ball in her hands, goes over to the head on the right wing. Long pass over to Burtz on the left side, long three, she nailed it. Good shot there by Jazz Burtz, 22 to three. And those girls that played in the JV game about an hour or so ago. Better get ready. They'll be coming into this game here in the second quarter or the third quarter. The target with the ball. Ball on the right wing. Guarded by Jazz Burtz. Ball got away from number 15. Caitlin Blackshear comes up with it. She's tied up by number 15 for a target. Who threw a screaming pass back to the official who was only three feet away and almost hit him in the face. <laughs> but he's all right. The general's ball over here on the sideline. An alternate possession arrow. But 13 drives down the right wing. Almost Walt Witt tries to go inside. Stolen by Anna Grace Griggs on the bounce pass. Got it over Caitlin Blasher down the right side. Picks up a dribble over near the bench of the generals. Gets it down to Anna Grace Griggs over on the right short corner. Back up high to Burtz who gets it over to Blackshear on the right wing. Shot of three. Missed it. No good. Rebound there by Slocum, I believe, down there. Maybe it was Caitlin Blackshear. Got a floor foul on the general, so the Gators inbound the ball on the baseline over on the right post. Long pass out to Blackshear up high by Burtz. Back gets it back to Burtz on that right wing. Skip pass over to Emma Head for a three on the left wing. Off the glass, no good. And a target comes up with a rebound. Burtz tips it away and the generals cross half court. Gators got it right back. Pass up ahead to Anna Grace Griggs off the left block from Burtz from about half court. She made it. 24 to three, Burtz is just too fast for this team. She's stealing the ball from behind, from the front, from the side. Any chance she gets, she can steal it. Two minutes to go here in the first quarter. 24 to three, Lady Gators with a big lead. Ball passed over to the left wing by the Generals. Gonna shoot a long three out there off that left side and made it. It's number 15 again, I think she was the one who made the first one, so she's got two threes. Good shot, 24 to six. Gators with the lead over to Burks up high between the rings, standing right on the G. Goes over to the left side to Emma Head on the left wing. He's going to dribble it back up high. Goes back to Davis down low in the short corner. Back up to Blackshear up high. Over to Burks on the right corner and tries to go inside. Ball got knocked away. But gets it back to Anna Grace Griggs. Missed it from the right block, but got her own rebound and put it up and in. Twenty-six to six with 1.10 to go here in the first quarter. Target brings the ball across half court. Try to go inside with it. Griggs anticipated the pass, knocked it away, and Emma Head comes up with it. But Emma couldn't get a hold of the ball. They took it away from her because it got trapped on her neck. And number three for a target drives in. She's about an eight-footer in the lane and gets the roll and it goes in. Good shot, 26 to eight. 44 seconds to go in the first quarter. 
Ball passed over to the right side to him ahead. Back over to Caitlin Blackshear up high. Caitlin's going to dribble back to the right, get it back to Anna Grace Grishman. Free off the right wing. It's no good. We got a whistle. And a foul on the shot. We're going to shoot three free throws. Anna Grace Grishman is going to get a chance to make three at the free throw line at the charity strike. Anna Grace's first shot, high arcing shot, nothing but net. Good shot, Anna Grace Griggs. Second free throw for Anna Grace is on the way. Off the back of the rim, no good on that one. Third shot for Anna Grace coming up. Got it. 28 to 8. 31 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Target bring the ball across half court. Go to the left wing with it. Drill it back up to the top of the key. Lost the ball on the pass, but they came back up with it and got it over to 15. Number one's got it over the corner now. Back up to number one at the top of the key. Goes inside the... Lane, 20 to 21, is going to shoot it over Davis down there. Got the shot up, and Anna Grace Griggs, nope, excuse me. Emma Head tracked the rebound down in the corner. Got it to Caitlin Blackshear across half court, back to Head. Over to Jazz Burke on the right wing. That's the end of the first quarter, 28 to 8. I think a couple of the Lady Gators weren't aware of the clock. Instead of trying to get that last shot, they just let the clock run out. Anyway, it's 28 to 8. We'll be back in one minute. We're back. Start the uh, second quarter here, 28 to 8. Eight minutes on the clock. No team fouls on Glenwood, four on the Lady Generals of Otago Academy. I'll pass over to Claire Graham in the left block area on the lane. Spins and puts up a shot too hard off the glass. No good. And Otago comes up with the rebound. So we've got the JV girls in there. The JV girls starters in the game now for the Lady Gators. With the exception of Olivia Slocum. She's out there as a starter for the varsity girls. She's out there with the four JV players. And as Clara Crisco takes the ball into the basket, she's fouled. She's going to go to the line and shoot two free throws. First free throws on the way. Got it. Good shot there by Clara Crisco. Got BT Brazil out there along with Clara Graham, Clara Crisco, and Lily Wyrick from the JV team out there with uh, Olivia Slope on the varsity player. 30 to eight, she got both free throws. Good shooting there by Miss Crisco, number 10. Lady Gators sticking in that two, three zone. Ball passed over to the right side, goes out of bounds, and hits Mr. Davison in the back, our assistant headmaster. <laughs> Lady Gators come up with the ball, bring it across half court. Slocum playing point guard, goes over to Miss Crisco on this left side. Inside the Lily Wire at the free throw line over to Slocum over the right side. Gonna shoot drive in and shoot about an eight or 10 footer off that right block over there and made it off the glass and a good shot. 32 to eight. And the ball was knocked away by Claire Graham on the far side over there. We've got two Gators players on the floor along with the Targa Lady General. This is get Lady Gators went for the steal there between the rings. And we got a foul called on there, I believe, on one of the Gators of the 
Maybe not. Maybe it was a hell ball. Jalen's with the ball up high. Ball's knocked away by Graham, but the generals come up with it. Number 13's got it. Gets it back to number one up high. She just double dribbled, and the official saw it. So it's a turnover there. She picked her dribble up with both hands and then tried to start a dribble again, and he saw it. So that's a good call and a turnover there by the Lady Generals. Thirty-two to eight. Six thirty-two to go. Lily Wire inbound the ball to the point guard Slocum for the Gators. Over to Wyrick on the right side. Pass back over to, him to uh, Slocum. He tries to go inside to Claire. Graham couldn't handle the pass. Maybe a little bit high. The ball's inside. Graham just took it away from the general's player. Got it over to BT Brazil on the right block. Put up a shot and couldn't get it to go down. And the ball goes out of bounds. And it's going to stay with the Lady Gators down there under the basket. Slocum's going to throw the ball inbounds to the Lady Gators under their own basket. Goes back to Claire Crisco, but it's stolen by the Lady Generals. Going to come down the court with it. Back it out. Number one's got it. BT Brazil just knocked her down like a bowling ball with a bowling pin. A little out of control there by the Lady Gators. Six minutes to go here in the second quarter. Ball passed over to number three on the right wing. Tries to go inside to... Number four, one of the post players got knocked out of bounds by the Gators, so the Lady Generals will get that ball back in the corner on the baseline. Gonna throw it out high. Got his number 13 top. He's gonna shoot it out there. It's gonna be off the glass. And we got a foul on Clara Crisco on the three-point shot. Not a good foul at all there. That what was called, and it appears it was. So number 13 for a target is gonna go to the line and shoot three free throws. First free throws on the way. Off the rim, no good. Next free throws on the way. Off the rim, no good. And yeah, we got a foul down there on the rebound by the Otago General, number 12, I believe, on BT Brazil as they were fighting for the rebound. 32 to 8 is your score. 547 to go here in the first half. Lady Gators with a big lead. Coach Purdue calls this play out. Slocum goes to the right side to Wyrick. Back to Slocum up high. Slocum trying to direct the offense out there. I think the young girl's not sure what they're doing. Goes to Claire Graham in his right corner, drops it down to BT Wyrick, excuse me, down under the basket. And she's got to travel down there as the generals tied her up and she ripped it away but shuffled both her feet. Generals pass the ball down to the right corner. Try to dribble it. Crossover dribble goes into the lane. She got got stopped by three Gators there and put up a shot. And I think we're going to have a foul called on one of the Gators down there. Not sure which one it was. We had three players around her down there when the whistle was blown. These free throws on the way, and it's good. Nothing but net. Good shot. And... Addison Corbett just checks into the game now for Claire Graham. Addison Corbett seeing her first action of the day with the varsity played in the JV game earlier. Slocum over to Corbett on the right wing. Good. Dribble down into the corner, tries to go inside to Brazil, got it to her, put up a shot, missed it, got her own rebound, put it up and in. 4.50 to go here in the first half, and it's 34 to 10, Lady Gators with a Big commanding lead. Generals pass the ball to the left wing in front of the Gators bench back to the top of the key now. Try to go back to the right wing. Slocum knocked it down. Got the ball. She's headed down the court with it to the free throw line. Over to Corbett who 
shoots it from the short corner on the right side over there. In and out, no good. Ball goes out of bounds. Madison Corbett had a good open shot there, but couldn't get it to go down. Lady Gators going to inbound it on the basket on the left post. Slocum goes to Corbett up the high. Back to Slocum in the left corner. She's going to take a couple dribbles, drop it down inside to Wyrick. And made a really good shot down there. A really good little drop down pass by Slocum. And Wyrick finished it off down there off the left block. 36 to 10 with 4.10 to go here in the first half. 36 to 10. Ball pass on the right wing by the Generals. Number three has got it. Passes over to the left side in front of the Gators bench. Number one's coming around the horn with it. Number 21 back to number three in the right corner. She doesn't like to dribble with the left hand. She's got it in the right hand dribbling around out here. Take puts a shot up. It's no good. Follows her shot. Got her own rebound back. Good hustle there by number three for the target Lady Generals. Pass over to 13 on the left wing in front of Coach Purdue's bench. We go back to number three on the right side. Gonna shoot it out there. It's long. Air ball, no good. But the target got the ball. The put back, and she's fouled on the put back. Gonna go to the line and shoot two free throws. First free throw is on the way off the back of the rim backboard area, and it's no good. A little too hard there, a little too strong for the Otago player. Second free throw is on the way. Off the back of the rim, no good, and tracked down by Lily Wire for the Gators. Over to Slocum, right side. Down in the corner. Addison Corbett going to shoot it out there. Air ball, no good. She had a wide open shot out of the corner, but couldn't get it to draw iron. And the ball goes out of bounds, and it will be the target's ball. Target brings the ball across half court between the rings. Goes over to 13 on the, on the left wing. Gonna dribble it back over to the right side by the point guard number one. She's down in the corner down there. She traveled with it. A good call by the official. She desperately wanted to shoot it. She tried to get a little breathing room there by traveling with the ball. And Caitlin Blackshear is coming into the game now for the Lady Gators for Tara Crisco. Coach Purdue calls this play out with Slocum playing point guards. Back over to Blackshear on the left wing. Take a couple of dribbles. Over to Corbett in the corner, tries to go inside. The ball got tipped by number three, who's got some reach on her. The ball stolen by a target. Got number one, had it, lost it off the dribble. BT Brazil comes up with it, gets it to Slocum down the left side. Olivia picks up her dribble, almost walked with it, got it to Blackshear. Blackshear's got a wide open three off the left wing out here and made it out of the glass. Made it off the glass. Good shooting there by. Caitlin the Cat Blackshear. 39 to 10. 2 11 to go here in the first half. Lady Gators with a big lead. Had a long pass down into the left block area off the right top quadrant. Had the ball up here at the top. Had an open player down there off that left block and threw it over her head. She could have had a layup. She could get that pass in there to her. Olivia Slocum with the ball crossing the half court. Goes over to Blackshear again. Passed up a three. Going to dribble back up to the top. Goes over to Slocum on the right wing. Goes down the short corner, tries to drop it down inside. Corbett picked it up on an errant pass, put a shot up, no good. Wyrick got the rebound off the back side over there. And the ball went out of, almost went out of bounds and was knocked back in by one of the Gator players. And 15's got it for a target coming down the court. Put up a shot, no good. They got the rebound, put up a shot, no good. And Blackshear came up with the rebound on the missed shots down there. And as Slocum tries to pass the ball down to Corbett over the left block, had a little fast break there. The ball got tipped out of bounds. Slocum goes in, goes outside to Blackshear, who goes back to Slocum in the block area, who tried to go back outside the court, and the ball got stolen by a target. Here's a target coming down the court. Number one's going to shoot it out there and made it from about 12 feet away off the left side, just inside the three-point arc off the free-throw line. 39 to 12, a little over a minute to go here in the first half. Lady Gators with a big lead. Ball past the Blackshear in the deep right corner. Goes inside to Wyrick, back to Blackshear in the corner. He's going to take a dribble, pull up a shot out there, shoot it. It's long air ball, no good, but 
P.T. Brazil got the back side on it. It was an air ball. It was like a long pass, and she made it off the glass on the left block. 41 to 12. Number one's going to shoot a long three at the top of the key out there. It's an air ball. She was about a foot short on her shot. A little bit out of her range there. Just a little bit short. 40 seconds to go. 41 to 12. Claire Graham into the game now. BT Brazil, Addison Corbett, Caitlin Blackshear, and Olivia Slocum. 2 3 zone by the great gray clad lady generals. Ball pass in the corner to Addison Corbett. Goes inside to Claire Graham, and the ball's taken away down there by one of the generals' players. And she got it to number four, who dribbled it off her foot. We're going to get a push on BT Brazil as uh, number four is dribbling the ball down the court right in their half court. 21 seconds to go here in the first half. And they get it into number four. Blackshear just stole the ball as they tried to make a pass back up high with it. She gets it to Slocum with 13 seconds to go. Slocum over to Blackshear for a long three off the left wing. Hits the back of the rim no good, but BT Brazil got the rebound, put it up, it's hanging on the rim, won't go down. Claire Graham's got it, she's gonna put it up, she made it off the right block. Good work there by Claire Graham. And your score at halftime is Lady Gators 43, Otago Lady Generals 12. Here are the Glenwood cheerleaders, and we'll be back, play a little music, come back for the second half.
Okay, eight minutes back on the clock here for the start of the second half. Lady Gators game against the Otago Lady Generals. Lady Gators lead it 43 to 12. Following this game, we'll have about an eight or 10 minute break and then we'll sign back on and do the boys game. Between two undefeated teams, the Tauga's 5-0, and Gators is 4-0. All right, Lady Gators with the ball up high. Emma Head's got it in her hands. Goes over to Jazz Burst on the left wing. Inside to Davis. Tries to throw it inside to on the cut to Emma Head. The ball got knocked away, and here come the Generals with the ball down the court. Ball's knocked around down there, but the Generals maintain possession. Over to 15 on the right wing. Gonna shoot a long three out there off the backboard. No good. And number one comes up with the rebound for the Generals. She's got it in the corner. Skip pass over to the far left side. Gonna throw up a shot down there off balance. No good. And the Grace Griggs comes up with the ball. Gets it up ahead to Olivia Slocum down the right side. She picks up her dribble just off the right block. Gives it to Burt, so she's gonna dribble the ball back up high with it. Over to him ahead on the left side. Goes inside to Davis. Off the block. She missed an easy shot down there inside the left block. And the Generals come up with the ball. 15's got it for the Generals. Headed down to the right side in front of their bench. Gets it to number one. I think they'll shoot a long three. Slipped out of her hand. It's way short. The ball is picked up there by number three, I believe, for the Generals. And she's fouled down under the basket. I think by Emma Head. So number three for the Lady Generals is going to be shooting free throws here. First free throw is good. And we do have a running clock here. This is 43 to 13. Three free throws, no good. Track down by number three in the far left corner. Going to put up a shot there by number four. She got the ball from number three off the left block. It got blocked, and the Gators come up with it. Burst has got it flying down the court, goes inside. She's fouled on the drive. So she's going to go to the line, I believe, and shoot two. First, first free throws off the rim, no good. Yeah, his first second free throw is on the way. And got it. Much better looking shot than the first one. 44-13. 526 to go here in third quarter. The target Lady Generals bring the ball down the court and right side in front of their bench. Go inside with it. The ball's knocked away, and a foul is called on Anna Grace Griggs on the reach. She went over the back of the Otago player over there on the right block. Inbound the ball way back up high to number one. He's dribbling around out here. He's going to pass it over to the right side into the corner. Going to shoot a three out there. And got it. And a really good shot there on that far side by, I believe it's number 15, not number 13. All right, Gators come down the court, throw it inside to Griggs who missed the layup. Davis got the rebound on the backside, puts up a shot and made it. On the putback off the left block, she fouled, gonna go to the line and shoot the free throw to finish the three point play. Forty-six, sixteen. the clock is running. Davis free throw, good. Targa's going to send in a new player here, number 21, I believe. 47 to 16, clock is running. Gators with a big lead. And Slocum just stole the ball as they tried to pass it from the point over to the right wing. Put up a layup down there and made it. She was bumped when she shot it, but she finished the shot. No foul was called, and the bucket is good. Here come the generals back down the court. Go inside with it. And a great Grace went for the steal. Got it into number 21 over there by the right block. And she tried to put up a shot, and Davis knocked it out of bounds on a good block. The target bring the ball in bounds over there on that right side off the baseline. 